Hi, this is Liz, and it is Fun Facts Week on You Volunteer. Now, my username for almost everything is Pez Liz, and that comes from uh, when I was at summer camp, and there were too many people named Liz. Long story short, I ended up with the name Pez, switched it to Pez Liz. I have been collecting Pez dispensers for a long time. I don't really collect as actively now. These are some really old pictures of when I was super into collecting Pez, and um, I laid out my whole collection there. I've even done a stop stop motion animation film with Pez dispensers. I need to find that and share that. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Pez and um, its origins. So in 1927 in Vienna, they started making peppermints. Feverments is the German word for peppermint, and so the three letters out of it is our Pez. And so the first mints um, came in a tin like Altoids. Eventually, uh, as a deterrent for smokers, they made them look like lighters. So those are called regulars. And with the regulars, um, they, you know, were, were sold as, as, a, as a peppermint dispenser. Around 1955, they started with character heads. Now these guys, they have no feet. Guys without feet, super valuable. Um, the most valuable Pez dispenser, I believe, was $32,000. Um, and that's a spaceman. Pez also has their own characters, such as Peter Pez. But as I said, around 1955, they started to make uh, licensed Pez dispensers. So Mickey Mouse, Pink Panther, Looney Tunes, you name it. There's Pez for every holiday, Pez dispensers for every holiday, um, Christmas, Easter. Um, I even have Christmas ornaments that are Pez dispensers. And there's even Pez for your wedding. I gave this to my best friend for her wedding. So, of course, there's many different kinds of Pez dispensers. There's also many different flavors of Pez. These are just some of the flavors that I have in my collection. There's even, there's chocolate, um, I don't know. There's all sorts of things, including Pez, there, there have been Pez guns in the past. Um, of course, you have the Pezidents of the United States. I'm sure that you've had at least one of these Pez dispensers in, in your time. Um, there's also, of course, the Elvis Pez dispenser, and uh, in the 2000s, they started with giant Pez dispensers. Some of them even make noise. I'm really lucky that people knew I collected Pez because I even have things like the Pez eyewear. Now, you can visit the Pez headquarters in Orange, Connecticut. That opened in 1973, so at that Pez headquarters, um, you can do a tour of the factory and all sorts of things. You can fit 12 Pez candies per Pez dispenser. I don't have a lot of facts, but I'm passionate about Pez and um, there's a fantastic Pez community out there, believe it or not. So that's everything for Pez um, uh, for today's video. Uh, I hope you've learned something and in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite Pez dispenser is or what Pez dispenser you might have had as a kid. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and as I mentioned, leave comments and like this video. Have a great day.